Hello everybody, it's a good day to see Pokemon. I hope you enjoy watching this video. So today we have a battle between Minnie and Daddy again. Daddy is going, looks like he's getting set up right now. He's going to be playing his Persimian deck. And what's Minnie playing today? Minnie's playing a Tapu Koko deck. Oh, okay. So what's what does Tapu Koko do? Well, it has a very strong ability that is called Arrow Trail. Arrow Trail lets you move move as many energies as you want to the active, and Minnie usually doesn't want to have it in the beginning of the game. Oh, but she started this way. Let's see, what has she done this turn so far? Minnie has played it. Her energy played a Rough Seas and then a Choice Band. Rough Seas allows you to heal 30 damage every turn. And Choice Band does 30 more damage to every GX Pokemon. So, like, Daddy has a Tapu Lele in his deck. He, Minnie needs a Choice Band and a Kukui, a Professor Kukui, to get it. That'd be 180. Yes. And looks <laughs> like it's Daddy's turn. No, it's still Minnie's turn. She just played an end, and everybody's getting ready to draw hands. And Minnie's right now fixing her prize cards. Let's see. And so what is she doing now? Minnie's deciding to Orchard Ball. She did. Oopsie. Oh, right. That was what she discarded. I didn't see that. And Minnie's now going through a deck. What does Minnie want to get at this point? Hmm. Yeah, Jolteon. Jolteon. Why does she want to get the Jolteon? Because Flash Ray is a very special attack. It prevent. It's a 70 and prevents all damage done by basic Pokemon if you use Flash Ray. So it'll prevent any damage done to it by basic Pokemon, and all the Pokemon in Daddy's deck are basics, aren't they? Yeah. It's also good if you have a choice band against Tapu Lele. Oh. Well, everything's good when you got a choice band against Tapu Lele. Yeah. Let's see. So it's Daddy's turn now. At, off that end, he got another two basic Pokemon. He got another Mew and a, his first Persimian. Looks like he put a double colorless on that Mew and is now going for a trainer's mail, but decides not to take anything off the trainer's mail. Just shuffling up his deck. Now, Daddy's deck works off of the use of Persimian's team play attack, which team play does 30 damage for each Persimian you have on the bench. So if Daddy can get all four Persimian on the bench, Mew will do 120 damage when it attacks using team play. With a Persimian in the active and three on the bench, he'll do 100 damage, which is not bad for a double colorless energy. But it looks like here, Daddy's only got one Persimian in play and no energy on the active, so he just passes back to Minnie. Minnie then plays a Field Blower and another energy and passes back to Daddy. So it's Daddy's up. Let's see, he got a Professor Kukui, so he's going to draw two cards. I think he's debating whether or not he wants to attack here and passes back to Minnie. So what's she up to now? Minnie just drew. She played an energy on Tapu Koko. And she knocks out Mew. Alright, so it's back to Daddy now. He moves up his other Mew with the double colorless. And, oh, he's got a Bridget. So he's able to go look for more Pokemon. Uh, he's going to go find the rest of his Persimians, it looks like. He's found one, two, three. And that'll allow his Mew to do 130 damage. So 30 for each Mew plus, or Persimian plus 10 for the attack. So he'll be doing 130 damage if he can find a... Um, Choice band, then he can do 160. That's still not enough for the one shot, though, on the Tapu Koko. So, Daddy's now going to go for an energy lotto, see if he can find another double colorless to start 
building up a second attacker because this Mew is going to get knocked out when he passes back to Minnie's turn most likely because um, he won't be able to knock out the Tapu Koko. So he didn't hit his another energy so he still doesn't have an attacker ready for next turn. He's looking to get ready. This is, this is a really tough matchup for, for Daddy here. He doesn't, it's really hard to one-shot the Tapu Kokos, and the Tapu Kokos can just constantly switch out and heal themselves and get better and better, or not better, but they get, you know, stronger each time, and if you can't one-shot with the Persimian deck, it's really tough to win, especially when you're playing against something that can, you know, heal so well as the Tapu Kokos. So unless that you can really start taking some one-shots, it's going to make this a lot more difficult. Uh, Mini here went to N, but it looks like she had already played a um, Pokemon Sire Lady. Pokemon Sire Lady. So what else is she doing this turn? So, Min so Mini just attacked, and Daddy moves up a Persimmon. What is Daddy doing this um, turn? Daddy here. He's oh reminding Minnie that she should she healed thirty from her rough seas as well, so that fixes that as well. There are a couple little mistakes that turn, but that's okay. It's a friendly game. So Daddy though, he's trying to figure out what he's gonna do here. Uh, he should be able to get a knockout on this Mew on this Tapu Coco if he can get a double colorless. A double colorless or something else. Well, it looks like he's going to Lysander up the Jolteon, which is weak to fighting, so that, that's helpful. Um, he looks like he's going ahead and going to Ultra Ball. Uh, maybe he's going for another Mew. Uh, but Mew is actually a bad choice. You think? Because then it, Minnie can actually, if she top decks the Tapu Koko, plays the Tapu Koko, and also has a Lysander in hand. Lysander's up the Mew and takes the knockout. That's real bad for Daddy. Mm. Well, he did get the Mew, though. So let's see. Then he's going to puzzle a time to look at the top three. See if there's anything there useful. Um, then he's just going to draw him with the Orangaroo. He plays another Energy Lotto. Still trying to dig for a double colorless energy here. He still can't even attack. Did he get it? Oh, no, he didn't. So, Daddy didn't get a double colorless. So, he still doesn't have any energy in play to, to actually attack with his Persimian here. So, on top of things, he can't even attack for doing any damage. So, let's see what's next here. Daddy passes back to Minnie without even being able to Minnie, attack. Minnie draws. Minnie plays an energy on Jolteon. Jolteon EX has a free retreat. That is which good. Is pretty, pretty good. Yeah. So she can and either just retreat the Jolteon into the Tapu Lele back there that is damaged. Tapu Coco. Tapu Coco. And she did fix she did heal the Tapu Coco again, so it's only down to ten damage on it. So let's see, she she's end both players so she'll be drawing four and daddy's gonna draw six again does she get what she's looking for what what should what is Minnie looking for at this point hmm. I'm not sure probably yeah probably that probably that what is that mm -hmm. a Tapu Coco so now what's ta Tapu Coco's doing what arrow trailing which allows it to move up into the active with getting three energies on it from hand. It looks like it took all those energies from the other injured Tapu Koko. And what else is Minnie doing? Minnie is also is just gonna pass well knock out Persimmon with Sky High Claws, which does one thirty. Let's see, all right, on Daddy's turn here, can he start getting back into this? Well, he's got the rescue stretcher for the Persimian. He played a choice band on the Mew. Now, if he can get that double colorless and a Kukui, he'll be able to get the knockout here on this uh, Tapu Koko. That, that's a long stretch. 
And let's see. He, he didn't take anything off of this trainer's mail, it doesn't look. And Daddy's in a really bad spot right now because Minnie has three prize cards. He still has six. He's three behind. He is three behind. This is getting looking pretty uh, tough for Daddy. And pretty easy for many. It is, but let's see. Can Daddy get the double colorless and get the get the Kukui? He hasn't played a supporter yet. I don't. I think he's got too many cards in his hand to use Orangaroo's and ability. But he does get rid of two. He then special charges to put a double colorless back in his deck. You know. Orangaroo will allow him to draw his hand up to three cards, so he's trying to play down as many cards as he can to get as close, you know, so he can draw the most cards possible like off that's, this Orangaroo. That's three, and right now he has two cards in his hand, so he can Orangaroo for one. If he plays another one, he can Orangaroo for two. Yeah, if looks he like plays he's just going to Orangaroo for one. Oh, and he top decks the DCE. Then he's got a VS Seeker. He's going to go find that Kukui. He plays the Kukui. He's going to draw two more cards. Play down to Skyfield. And knock out the Tapu Koko doing 180 damage from the Persimians. That yeah. was really impressive there. And Daddy really, really got back in the game. Except Daddy is now down by one, which isn't so bad, but now... So what's Minnie doing here? Now Minnie's rescue stretching for the Tapu Coco, playing it down, not arrow trailing, which is weird. Now let's see what else is she going to play here. She's got a choice band for her Mew. Not a Mew. Or her, her Jolteon. And she lilies for what looks like five. Plays another Ether Conservation Area Stadium. That's the first one. That's the first one. That's the first one? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, that's, that's right. One. She played a Rough Seas earlier. Oh, she tried to play another supporter. But she forgot she had already played her lily. Let's see, what is she getting now? It looks like she's just going to attack and do the 30? I think that's what she's going to have to do, is just yeah. do Swift. Yep, and just does 30. So we're back to Daddy. Let's see. Swift is a really bad attack if your opponent's weak to electric. Daddy plays down another Skyfield to get rid of that Ether Conservation Area. What does the Ether Conservation Area do for the, for the electric Pokemon? So electric and grass Pokemon take 30 less damage. Yeah, so Daddy needed to get rid of that stadium. And here he was able to find another double colorless and move up the Persimian so that he can take a weakness damage and do a knockout on the Jolteon. But I don't even know if he needed to move up the Persimian to do that. Because uh, I think he had yeah. enough if he didn't. Because he'd have... Wait. Wait, Jolteon No, has... he would only at 150. He would he would still need to move it up. Because he could only do 100 and... No, because he'd have 130. Yeah, he'd done 160. I think Jolteon's yeah. only 160, so he would have had enough on uh, the knockout yeah. with the Mew. He could have left the Mew in the active, but then he wouldn't have been a... He would have been a little worse spot for against Tapu Kokos if Minnie can draw her energies. And Dai Shuffling... His no mini stack for her because everybody can see the cast. Mm -hmm. Let's see. And she, looks she, like mini draws and passes. No, she max elixirs. Wow. She finds a, a and, another energy. So if she's got a way to get another uh, Tapu Coco mm -hmm. into play here, she'd be able to arrow trail, put all three energies on it. And take a knockout on the Persimian, which would put Daddy back on uh, the back foot and even him up on prize cards. So let's see, can she find that next Tapu Coco? Minnie's uh, in a bad, bad spot. Uh, I don't know. Well, unless if Minnie gets a Tapu Coco, she can win the game. Yeah, she can win the game, but it looks like she just has to pass. Daddy's going to draw... 
What does he have in hand? I can't tell. I think he might have a Via Seeker again, which would allow him to get another one shot on the Tapu Koko. He pays the retreat to move the Mew up. Oh, let's see. What's he going to play here? I think he's got it. Yeah, me, me too. Because Minnie's in a really bad spot. Daddy can win the game by just Via Seeker for a Professor Kukui. That would so be game. He plays the puzzle of time. He instructs for one. There's the Via Seeker. And he gets, gets the Kukui. Draws two. Attacks. Knocks, knocks Mini Sapoko out. That was a really good game. Yes. Mini almost had it. All she knew was a Tapakoko and three knockouts. That'd be just. That would be game. That would. It was a close game, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Usually in this matchup, the Persimian deck loses to do to uh, Tapu Koko, so it was really kind of exciting to see one game where it just seemed all the cards came together for Daddy, and he was able to get those two one-hit knockouts on the Tapu Kokos. And it seems like it's 1,000 for me, for many, and... Three for Daddy. That's right. Daddy now has three victories to his name. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day or night. Bye.